Yes, yes, yes. What is good, my people? Welcome back to Computer Music Academy's weekly homework podcast. I am your host, Tashira Say. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Welcome to week 69 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast. Shout out to my man, DJ Locturnal, for letting us use that intro for the last three weeks. We'll be moving on to something next week and Definitely one of my favorites that came out this year. So shout out for that. <clears throat> and before we go any further, apologies for you getting this uh, podcast a couple of days late. I'm actually just getting over an, a, a neck injury. So this assignment this week for this particular podcast is actually going to help me heal, believe it or not. <laughs> but anyhow, welcome. Thank you. Let's get into it. So week 69. Uh, we actually had a gentleman by the name of Silo Nazra from Toronto join us. Uh, it's been about a month and a half ago, somewhere in that area. And he made a suggestion for week 69. Uh, and then I kind of turned that, took that and kind of turned it on his head, make it a little bit broader. So this particular week, I, I actually went to the people and said, you know what? We've done a lot of different genres and styles of music and assignments and stick to this, don't do this, only use this. And the results are normally just boom, they hard, they up tempo, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But sometimes you just need to chill. You just need to relax, take it easy, whether it's you with your mate. Or you uh, uh, on your on your own. Either way, you just need to chill. And in this particular week, I'm calling this the chill out suite. And we have 10 submissions. Very eager to get to them all. Starting off with a gentleman who has actually been on a very smooth, very chill, somewhat chilled vibe lately. My man N95. Let's get into it. Yeah.
Yes, yes, yes. In 95, doing it as only he can and has been doing. Excellent job, my man. Love that vibe on that one. He's been on this really, really cool, laid back smooth vibe lately and I'm, I'm really enjoying it even though i tease him a lot on uh on the website in our community i tease him a lot when he posts these beats but i really enjoying what he's doing my only slight complaint would be that especially with this one right here these beats don't have a lot of variation he did have a little change up where it was like a i, I want to say a stutter step but no but he did have that boom, ba boom, ba boom. That was cool. But I definitely, you know, anybody that that is a part of CMA or has been watching this podcast for the last couple of years, you know me. I like variation. I like things to change up, where it's just not the main uh, loop or or element that is looping, where everything kind of changes up, turns into you know you actually have if you are making that kind of music, where you actually have your verse, your hook your, you know, a uh, uh, bridge or course or however, you know, different sections. I do love this beat and I do love what N95 is doing, but I would like you to switch it up just a little bit more, my man, add more elements to it. But the foundation, the groove, the feel is there. And I'm absolutely loving what you're doing, man. But I want to see you continue to grow as you've been doing excellent before you got with us. And I, I, I see that you have been, adding some of the stuff that we've been doing into your own productions, but I definitely want to see you to continue to grow my man. So, you know, take that with you and continue uh, moving up and evolving, man, but excellent job on the submission. All right, coming up next, a gentleman who has only been in for two particular submissions at this point. Is it two or is it three? <laughs> Excuse me if I forget, but he's only been with us a couple of weeks representing Tel Aviv, Israel, my man, Eclectic Amora. Let's see what he has. What I know makes me make make them faces and you know yeah, like yeah. something stink like that's really the bottom line of how, how I walk this plant. You know, if it don't touch in the soul, keep it low. Keep it low. Yes, Black Lungs, a.k.a. Eclectic Amora, doing his thing. Yes. Okay. I see you, sir. I see you. That, I really enjoy that. That definitely shows the amount of effort he put into it this week. He put a lot of effort. He actually 
actually wrote me a, a little thing in the description, told him, he gave me like a little breakdown of what he's been doing in his tracks. And I'm sitting there like, damn, really? <laughs> but that's all good, you know? And, and one thing I really appreciate is two things I need to, appre I, I really appreciate. One, I appreciate the experimentation he put into this track. You can tell that he actually tried a few different things. There's a couple different sections. There's some drops and some switch ups. Shout out for the DJ Premier sample. <laughs> you know I'm a huge fan of DJ Premier. So putting that particular uh speech, you know, in 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 the uh, music shows where he's coming from. So definitely, I appreciate that. The other thing I appreciate is shout out to a man that's coming up in a couple of uh submissions. DJ Locturnal, he said, uh, 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 Adam Black Lungs, uh, Eclectic Amore, <laughs> actually said that he reached out to him after the last couple of weeks and said, you know, gave him some, some suggestions. And that's what it's all about at CMA. We're a community. Yeah, I may be the face and the head of it, but everybody else has opinions and different ways that they do things, you know, and, and, and that's cool to actually see somebody just reach out and say, yo, I see you struggling. How about this? Blah, blah, blah. That's what it's all about. So shout out for that. That that submission is really, really dope. And he's still working. He's still putting it all together, but you can see him slowly but surely. He's figuring out the pieces to the puzzle. And And, and, and another shout out for something else is, this particular track and it's not taking anything away from adam at all this track really reminds me of something nelson manzilla has done in the past and and, and does do so it's going to be very interesting watching this young man over the next you know couple of months and, and so on so shout out for that my man all right moving on to another uh freshman so to speak representing my man, Tony, a.k.a. AR Music. Let's go. Yes, yes, AR music. Nice, very nice. That track was at, was uh, appropriately named Smooth and Stormy. <laughs> I like that. And Tony, you know, he, he's been, he's another one of those dudes that are just coming up recently that are, uh, that is 
you know, stepping up his game. He's getting involved more in the assignments, learning more from everyone else. And, you know, a lot of this stuff, as I said to Adam, and as I've been saying for the last couple of years, like a lot of this stuff, especially for me, when I create music, it's experimentation. I don't come to the table with, uh, you know, a, a, a deep seated idea. I might have an idea that I, 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 I kind of want to follow. I would like my project to end up in this particular place, but it may end up over here. And the only way that's going to end up over here is one being open minded to whatever just happens. You know what I call studio magic was when you're in when you're creating anything could happen. You could hit a wrong key and then all of a sudden that changes the entire game. And that's what it's all about. But if you leave yourself open to that kind of stuff, you never know what's going to happen. So being open minded along with experimentation and you never you, you will always bring out some. You always bring out the best in yourself and, and, and produce something that you never knew you can you never knew that you can produce if you do those things, in my opinion. So shout out to Tony for what he's been doing lately. Excellent job, my man. And moving on to our man down in South Carolina, DJ Locturnal. Let's see what he has. Yeah, back to back uh uh rain themes and in, in submissions because we had AR music with his smooth and stormy and Locturnal actually named his Southern Raindrops. And man, I like this one a lot. Holy crap. Lock is continuing to impress every single week. Man, that's really, really nice. There's not a lot that I can say about that. The only thing, just a personal thing for me, I hate, and, and this is nothing against your track, but I hate uh, factory sounds. And I'm talking, I'm just mainly talking about the drums. Me personally, and I'm going to make this suggestion to all of you guys, if you do have just 
a, a, a pack of sounds that sound pretty good. Try pitching your drums either up or in most cases for me, I pitch my drums down a little bit just to get a heavier, more resonant drum sound. You know, just one, two, maybe three notches in some cases. And you can turn that one drum sound into something entirely different. And not to say you had to do it with this particular submission, but go back after you watch this podcast and tune them down. Tune your kick and your snare and your hat down just a little bit and see how that turns out. Then you'll understand what I'm talking about. But other than that, excellent submission, my man. Dude, you are. (laughs) I'm done. (laughs) Thank you, my man. All right, moving on to our man. In Oregon, Nelson Manzilla. Let's go. Um, someone once told me that your poem doesn't start until you start telling the truth. So I call this call this my first poem. Nelson Manzella doing his thing. Boy. <laughs> Me and Nelson talk. Uh, we talk pretty, pretty, pretty frequently. You know, a couple times a month, we send an email back and forth, that kind of thing. <clears throat> and um, I know he's in a relationship right now. And I'm wondering if the relationship He's closing out another chapter of his life. And then this assignment all came together for this particular submission. Cause I love me some Nelson Manzilla. I love his submissions. This by far is his best work. And he's been with us around a year now. I think it was either late October early to mid November in 2013 when he joined us. This is by far his best work. And and like I said, maybe everything aligned perfectly for him to to deliver, but man, mixed well, all the elements, the groove, the drums, the vocal samples, all of that is just oh my god. Hats off my man. 
That was excellent. In my opinion, I don't know about everybody else's, but in my opinion, this is easily your best work. And I'm not going to say I didn't know I, that you had it in you, but man, I'm glad we brought it out of you. Whew. Nice job, my man. All right, moving on to a gentleman that we have not heard from in a few weeks. And he specifically said he's trying to get back because he's tired, not tired, but he's noticing all of the younger people or the newer people coming in, taking over. So he's like, I got to get back in the groove with these cats. So my man, the hypnotist or hypnotist. <laughs> Let's get it in. Tess doing his thing. Wow. That was uh, pretty nice, sir. <laughs> and hopefully we get this dude more often. I know he's been, you know, doing things and dealing with certain things, but man, we need this guy back in the lineup as we do several other cats like 18th Dynasty and uh, Ray D Fields. I'm trying to think. There's a couple of other casters that haven't been around in a while. Necro. What the hell is Necromantis? <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed that track, my man. And it, he, he kept it chill. You know, the Hypnotist has been going more cinematic and dramatic with his uh, submissions lately. And that one is, is definitely following in that same vein, so to speak. But towards the end, he had to bring it up and, and put a little a little uh, head nod in there. And I'm trying my best not to bob my head. <laughs> I'm not trying to re-injure myself. <laughs> and if you're wondering, I just, I woke up Sunday morning with a ridiculous crick or crook in my neck. And I was just, you know, really stiff for a couple of days and, didn't think it would be appropriate for me to do a, a a podcast where I'm supposed to be bobbing my head and I can't. I'm just, you know, really stiff. <laughs> so I got a little bit going. I'm healed enough, but I did not 
want to get to that point where I, I actually really start snapping my neck. <laughs> but excellent submission, my man. Excellent. All right, moving on to our man down in Tampa, Florida. Gold 007. Let's get it in. Gold 007 <laughs> doing his best impression of Gold 007. <laughs> Yo, mm, very, very, very nice, my man. What what need what more needs to be said about Gold except for he's incredibly dope, <laughs> incredibly talented, and he brings it with. 99.9 .9 of his submissions he brings it every time you know he he had a period in the beginning where he was just getting acclimated to everything but once he found the formula this dude has been kicking out ridiculous jams the entire year and he's coming up on a year himself uh in december but man gold that's incredible dude Excellent job. I have nothing else to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excellent job, my man. All right, coming up to my man, Taurus Beats. And he actually thanked me, which is weird, for uh, assigning this particular uh, assignment, so to speak. Because he said he's never really experimented with this particular genre. But I would figure this is more up his alley. But let's see what's happening.
Torres has been on a roll, dude. Since he moved, because we missed him the entire summer. But since he moved, he's in his new location now. And he got back to work. He got back to work. Oh, man. That track. And every week, he continues to do something different. That was one of the issues myself and a couple of the members were looking at in the beginning is that, you know, Taurus would kind of pick and choose which, you know, which assignments he was in. It's like, man, we really want this dude to branch out and do a little bit more, break out of his box. And he actually began to do that in the second half, you know, the later parts of this year. And since he's been back, what has it been? Five, six assignments now? This dude has been unstoppable. He has been on top of every assignment, doing what he does, but killing every concept or assignment, all the rules or whatever it is. He has been killing it every single week since he's been back. And I'm very proud of that dude, for real. Excellent, excellent job, my man. And taking nothing from him at all. But does that not remind you of the art of noise, moments in love a little bit, <laughs> especially like when the strings kick in. Woo, excellent job, my man. All right, moving over to the UK with our man, Crooked Mystery Jazz. Let's get it in. Crooked, mystery jazz, smooth it all the way out. Ooh, that was chill. That was so smooth. That that it, once again, as uh, with Nelson Manzella, not to say he never had it in him, but I'm glad this particular assignment brought it out of him. Man, 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 that was nice. As usual, everything is on point. The use of the the, the pick of uh, I say the choice of drum samples and and the other samples and synths or basses or whatever else other elements he uses in in his songs, 
they are normally on point. Rarely does he miss, especially now, you know, in this second year. Man, this dude has just been excellent, excellent job, my man. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> nothing more. And coming out on to our final submission for the week, a gentleman who has been representing since the beginning. I don't think this dude has had a, a single week track over the last, say, what, seven months that he's been with us. And I'm very, very happy he's with us. I'm very happy to have him as a part of the CMA experience, community, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, double negative. Let's go. negative <laughs> closing out week 69 of the weekly homework assignment slash podcast and oh boy did he do a great job with that i love you know it was chill but at the same time he had that nice edge to it with that that break beat but then the use of the piano orchestral however sample that was on top of it unstoppable man 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 and and rod continues to evolve he continues to imp impress he continues to just be ridiculous every single week as did everybody who performed in this particular uh podcast so shout out to double negative cricket mystery jazz taurus beats go 007 hypnotist clark Nelson Manzilla, DJ Locturnal, AR Music, Eclectic Amora, N95, and thank you for watching, listening, 
supporting what we do every single week. If you are interested in being in the podcast, in the community, receiving the exclusive tutorials and perks and and all of the all the craziness that comes with being a member of CMA is very simple. Come on over to computermusicacademy.com and join us. Period. Now, before I go, I have to personally send some love out and I'm asking you to do the same for our man Gold 007. Um it's kind of worked out to where me having my neck injury, I didn't I didn't get a chance to do the uh, podcast on time, but unfortunately, this past Monday he lost his mother. And I'm asking everybody in the community and everybody who are fans of he or CMA, please lift them up, send them some love, send up some prayers for him for he and his family and go bill you know we all love you do what you got to do and we'll see you when you get back on that note thank you all again and we'll talk to you next time see ya